So here we have a 2018 BMW 5 Series. This one's going to be an M550i X-Drive. Comes in dark graphite metallic on black Napa leather. And the powertrain is going to consist of that 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. So there's the front there. You have your LED headlamps along with your daytime running lights. And then down here you have your 20 inch M series aluminum wheels. And you have passive keyless entry on all four doors. And there are the controls for your power door locks, windows, mirrors, as well as power folding mirrors. And then you have your memory seat as well. And this one has a Bowers and Wilkin sound system. And there is your power driver seat with power lumbar support. Let's check out the rear seat. I'm gonna hop in here. Ooh. So pretty good leg room for this to be a sports car. I'm 6'3 and I'm able to sit in the seat in front of me as well as back here. And the rear seats are actually very soft and very comfortable. And you also have three stage heated seats for these as well. And then you have your AC vents, which you can control. And for your middle seat, you have your cup holders here, and you can just fold those back up. But what's really neat is you have the ambient lighting within the actual doors here. So I like that. And then you also have your sunshade here, which you can pull up and lock that into place as well. But let's go ahead and check out the trunk space next. And there's the rear end of that there. Then pretty large trunk space. And then you can even fold the seats flat from back here just by pulling on this. And then you can close the trunk. Like I said, you can fold that flat and then just lock it back into place. And there's your power passenger seat there. There's that 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Let's check out the view from the driver's seat. So we have a nice heated leather wrapped steering wheel here. And then when you control the driver's seat, it actually shows you where it's going. So I like that. And then you can also just save it from the screen as well. But you have navigation. 
There's your backup camera. And you also have your AM, FM, XM radio, and you have Bluetooth audio, and this one also has the option for Apple CarPlay as well. And then down here, you have your radio functions, volume knob, go through tracks and all that, radio stations. And then you have your dual zone automatic climate controls along with your three stage heated and cooled seats. And you have a wireless charging pad in there with more ambient lighting, a USB port, two cup holders, 12 volt. Then to the fun stuff, your shifter, press this button here, pull down for drive, tap up for neutral, hit the button, press all the way up for reverse, and then you can pull down, slide over to manually shift, either with the shifter or with these paddle shifters here and then you just press the button to put it in the park. Then you have your brake hole, which you can toggle, your electronic parking brake, and then you can pull up your camera by hitting the button, and that's the front camera there. And then you can also toggle your parking sensors. And then you also have your drive modes, which you can just hit the touch of a button and of course your knob used for your radio and then one thing I want to show you is you can actually toggle between your camera views and you can look at the sides digitally or you can actually use the cameras in the back and then you have ways you can go around the vehicle as well so really neat. And there's your center console cubby space. Have a nice big sunroof, which you can power slide with one touch. And there's view of the rear seat. There's your glove compartment with your owner's manual. And then you have your cruise controls, which you can toggle through that here. And then your Bluetooth controls, as well as your volume controls, and you can go through your radio stations too. But there you have the gauge cluster. There's that beautiful heads up display. There's your push button start with your auto stop which you can toggle on and off. And finally, there's your key fob. So next we're gonna go ahead and take this M550i out on the road for a quick test drive. So in eco pro mode, which is what I'm starting out in, the car is still really quick, but relatively quiet. And I haven't noticed any sort of shift lag or anything like that. This transmission is still incredible. Yeah, it's just crazy how quick this thing is just by barely tapping the pedal and still in eco mode. But this ride is surprisingly nice. I mean, I have the 20 inch wheels. You have the M Sport suspension, but just a really nice ride. So 
I'm gonna put it in the comfort mode and see how comfortable it actually is. Yeah, this is surprisingly nice. is readily available oh that was fantastic so we're gonna go ahead and put it in the sport mode before we get on the interstate. And I'm also gonna manually shift. And of course these shifts are lightning quick. So fast. Crazy how fast this thing is. I'm gonna put it back in their just regular drive mode. But it's just, of course, it's a BMW, so it drives fantastically, but this is just, uh, it's just so great. And if you don't necessarily need, I think, yeah, this M550 has the executive package on it. So if you don't necessarily need all the power and all the tuning, you just want something fast that is comfortable and makes you feel like a boss, this is the car. And it just throws you back so quickly. It's just such a great feeling.
And like I said, it's just such a great driving car and just so comfortable. That does not get old. <laughs> and I mean, there's really not much to say about this car that isn't already expected. But I mean, the ride quality is just incredible, in my opinion, just for what you can, how you can drive this thing if you want to and still have that comfort with it. Just so great. Give it one good go. Oh, all right, here we go. And this is gonna bring me to an end of my review of the 2018 BMW M550i with the X-Drive.